Thanks for tuning in. In this video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to make a do-it-yourself sponge filter for less than $5. Everything I use was purchased through Jimco. The materials needed are gonna be real simple. We're gonna start off with a one inch PVC pipe. Number two, we're gonna use a screen inlet tube. Also comes from Jimco in a one inch by 42 inch length. Third, we're gonna use a four inch by four inch ceramic tile purchased at a local home improvement store. These cost 54 cents a piece. And then the main important part for this and the hardest part to really find is gonna be your sponge. These are the replacement sponge filters for the ATI Hydro Sponge. Each one of these sponges cost me less than $2.50 a piece. And of course, what good is a sponge filter without your airline tubing and your stone? So let's get started. I'm gonna set this to the side. We've got our screen inlet tube cut to about six inches on a five inch sponge. So I've got some overlap, some stick out. Now to fit the PVC fittings to this inlet tube, I could have used one inch couplers, but trying to do this as cheap as possible, I took PVC and stretched it with a heat gun. Um, so right here I've got a bottom piece cut and then siliconed to the 4x4 ceramic tile. This ceramic tile is going to be your way down in the water. It's going to keep it from floating on you. Stick that inlet tube right into that PVC. And then assemble the top. Real simple. Take your airline tube. Stick it through a pre-drilled hole in the back of the PVC. Now, I prefer using air stones in sponge filters because I hate the bubbling sound. If you can get a nice air stone in a larger, large enough diameter pipe, then you'll have a nice aeration sound and not a bubble. So we got that through. I'm gonna put the air stone on the end of it. There's the hole in the back. And then make sure that you've pulled that length to where that air stone is going to drop all the way to the bottom so you get a nice full pull with that draw. Piece it together, make it look nice and straight. Try to visualize how it's going to be seen from the front of the tank so you can make sure that those sponges, which come in a little bit crooked, can be adjusted and look a little, uh, a little more professional. And that's it guys. DOI sponge filter, less than $5.00. I built seven of them because I was trying to um, kind of upgrade the fish room a little bit and I have no complaints. Everything worked out really well. Thanks for tuning in and please subscribe.